In this video, we are going to do transformation of these nails. And almost under each nail, we are going to find different kind of things. Also, I would like to discuss the topic. If you have a client from another salon with nail extensions, do you need to do fill or sometimes it's just easier to take them off and do a new set? Coming up. Hello guys, this is Anastasia. This is my client for today. When I saw the picture of her nails, she sent it to me. First, I thought that we are going to do fill. She also shared that she wants to keep the length of her natural nails. So I thought that maybe we can take off the product and then do a new overlay. But when I looked on the other side of her nails, I can see that yes, her nails are rather long, but it looks more like extensions to me. Anyways, I started taking off the product and on the first nail we can see uncured gel. And the reason I'm taking the rest off with the orange wood stick is because I do not want to clog my favorite drill bits. My plan is to take off the color so we can see underneath what's going on, is there like product lifting, what's the condition of her natural nails, and then we will decide what kind of shape and length we are going to do and what kind of overlay is going to work better. I'm using 5-in-1 Kiara Sky Carbide Drill Bit. This one can be used both for left and right-handed nail technicians. As I take off the color, we can already see that there is product lifting and it's taking a large area, like almost the entire area of the nail bed. But since my original plan was to do fill, I'm not taking off the free edge yet. I only want to take off the lifted parts and maybe we can do a hard gel fill. It is very important to take off the lifted part completely because even if a small area of the lifted part will stay on the nail and then we seal it with a new product, this may lead to more product lifting and eventually to greenness on the nails. Now I can see that not only some lifted part, but also the color from the previous feel or extensions was also sealed under the product. Now our goal is to take off the old product and the product from the previous feel as well. As I keep filing the product, I realize that the lifted part as well as the sealed color is taking almost the entire surface of the nail and not only the nail bed area, but also the sidewall. So it does not make sense to keep the free edge. So I'm taking it off too and we will do an overlay or a new set. Well, we'll see once we take off the product and we'll see the full picture. On the next nail, we have more lifted areas as well as sealed lifting from the previous fill, I suppose, as well as sealed color. So now we can tell that the previous color was light nude or beige color. The reason why we have product lifting near the cuticle is definitely because the product was applied too thick near this area. And once the small lifted area occurs, and we keep just living our lives, you know, just washing the dishes, doing anything with our hands, the lifted area starts to spread. So if the lifting appeared like three weeks ago, then after three weeks, most likely it is going to spread onto the entire nail bed area. Having lifting, especially on long nails, is very bad and dangerous for natural nails because it means that the product, the entire nail, is technically holding up only on the free edge and once the person accidentally hit the nail, it may rip off the top layers of her natural nail, which actually happened to another nail because remember there was one nail without the product completely. So this is the area that was lifted, which is almost the entire part of the natural nail. And also as I file off this product, I can feel that it seems so brittle and easy to file off. 
The speed I'm using is almost max, it's 28,000 rotations per minute, and it's super easy to take off the product. One of the reasons is definitely because it's lifted, and another one is just so easy to take off. We also have some sealed color underneath, so I really do not think it will make any sense to keep the product on the nail. Even though I usually try to leave a thin layer, in this case it just will not make sense, so I'm taking it off completely. At this point, we can already tell that her natural nails are rather long, so probably we can do a new overlay. It's not going to be as long as she had her extensions, it's going to be shorter, but I think it's still possible to shape beautiful almonds and squares. But as I take off the last nail and we take a look, I can see that her natural nails, especially on the free edge, are damaged. So I explained to her that unfortunately it will not make sense to keep the length of her nails. Just take a look at this. The dorsal upper layer is ripped off, but her nail bed area is in a rather good condition. So what I would recommend is to file them as short as possible, do new extensions, and then she need to promise me to do her fills on time. And as she does that, she may grow out her nails in about two or three months. At first she was upset because she really wanted to keep the length of her nails. She said, it took me like three to four months to finally come to this length. And I said that, yes, I totally understand that. But if I am going just to shape her nails and do an overlay, which I can do, she is going to have peeling on the free edge area in a few days, 100%, because her nails are extremely thin. Also, some nails are ski jump. At the beginning of this video, I showed you the side view. So it is also going to be a little bit of the challenge to do an almond shape. Finally, she said that she understands what I'm saying and she's really interested to have a long lasting extensions, not just some overlay that is going to peel within a few days. So we're filing her nails short. By the way, the condition of her nails near the cuticle is rather good. So it is going to take her two to three months to grow her nails again. And if she's not going to do overdue fills or break them again, they're going to be in a great condition and it will be possible to switch to the overlay later. Honestly, in my opinion, for anyone who has thin, brittle nails or nails that are growing in a different direction, such as ski jump nails or nails growing downwards, and a client wants to change that, like to make them all look straight, then usually one of the best solutions is to simply file them short and to do extensions. There are definitely some exceptions. For genetically blessed people who have perfectly shaped natural nails, then yes, it will make sense to grow them longer and to do an overlays all the time. But if there is some problem you would like to fix, or if nails are super thin, like they were like that from your early childhood, then I think with nail extensions, you may achieve any shape and length that you want. Eventually, depending on the condition of the nails, switch to the gel polish overlay. Then I proceed to dry manicure. Finally, I'm trimming cuticles and eponyking with manicure scissors. I also took off the surface shine with a buffer and take a look at her nails now. She was also surprised by it because her nails are in a pretty good condition, except for the one that was ripped off. So what I'm saying is that after a few months, they are going to look great. It was only the free edge that was damaged and definitely needed to be filed off. I think the best option is definitely new extensions. First, we were thinking of doing the same length and shape, almond shape, 
But then we decided to try something different, because I have something in mind. Different shape that is going to look great on her, too. I applied dehydrator, let dry, then I applied non-acid primer. Make sure you are not touching the surrounding skin. Then I'm going to use a base coat, I prefer the one by Cupa. Apply a thin coat, also do not touch the surrounding skin, especially the sidewalls. If you did, clean it immediately, because as you are going to apply gel or polygel on top, it may flood the sidewalls. Cure in LED for 30 seconds. I am going to use polygel and dual forms, and we are going to do different colors on each nail. First one is going to be nude, and I am using different brands for these extensions. For example, this one is by IBD. Then I turn the hand around and make sure the surface underneath is as smooth as possible. And I am also using ballerina or coffin-shaped dual forms, because this is the shape we decided to do. On another nail, I am using this magenta color by Savaland. By the way, I think this one also glows in the dark and the white color. Mix them a little bit, but not too much, because our goal is not to mix the colors together, but to get a beautiful marble look. Apply the product into the dual form and then attach it onto the nail. If you press too hard and notice that some of the excess product is squeezing through the sidewalls or cuticle area, it is better to fix it with a brush right away, because this is so much easier to fix it with a brush compared to filing it later. At this point, I realized that I am making these nails too long. And yes, we can definitely file and shape it later, but it's so much better if we fix everything we can with a brush, because it takes less effort and time. Cure in LED for one minute and let's continue. We like this color so much, so we decided to do couple nails using this color only. I think it's a little bit of the jelly color, like it's not completely transparent, but also it's not completely cream, so it's something in between. And it looks like a candy or something. And remember, when you're working with the colors like this, you need to cure them for one or sometimes two minutes, depending on the lamp you're using. Usually, 30 seconds will not be enough. And then we're doing the best part, taking the dual forms off, and we can already see almost the final look. Oh man, some of the nails are still extremely long, so I'm going to fix that with electric nail file. I will be using Carbide Bead, the speed is 28,000 rotations per minute. By the way, if you would like to feel confident when working with electric file, you would like to learn how to use it, how to take off the product, how to do fills, I have a class which is perfectly suitable for beginners, eFile 101 class. It includes practical assignments, exercises, your assignments will be graded by a live teacher, and you will also get a certificate of completion at the end. I will leave the link in the description box so you can learn more about it and enroll. All lessons are pre-recorded, so you can watch them anytime, anywhere, from any device, and also you will have enough time to submit assignments and to get feedback from your teacher. If there will be something that needs to be corrected or fixed, you will also have enough time to redo your work and send it again. Finally, when you will submit the final assignment, you will get a certificate of completion. You will also get a lifetime access to students' chat. I did a little filing and shaping with the nail file, mostly the sidewalls, and then I would like to buff the surface. I do it all the time because I like to have a perfectly smooth surface, so we will only need to seal it with a top coat, especially the cuticle area, because when it's smooth, you will not need to worry about any kind of product lifting. If you notice that some of the product squeezed through the sides and you did not clean it with a brush, you may also fix it with electric nail file. I kind of like the look of these nails when they are matte. What do you think? But no, I think marble nail is going to be better with a glossy top coat. I have this gel polish that I didn't really like because it's very transparent, it barely has any color, 
and I didn't really use it by itself but on top of the nude nail it is going to look pretty good and I think it matches with these nails pretty well and I also think that these nails are missing some accent so we are going to use this magenta color this gel polish is by Born Pretty I'm going to apply two coats of this color as well as this light lilac with a glitter color Here's my conclusion on when we need to do fills and when it is better to do a new set. If there is almost no lifting, if a clients do not want to change the shape or the length too much, and if you see that these nails are pretty good, then I think it's definitely easier and faster and better for everyone to do fill. But if there's lifting, if you see some suspicious color in the product, if a client wants to switch, let's say, from almond to ballerina shape without changing the length, then it will definitely make sense to offer a new set. Communication is the key. You also need to explain why you're offering that, because sometimes clients are suspicious. They are like, oh, you probably want to offer me a service that is just more expensive. I always try to do my best in explaining why I'm offering the certain service and how it is going to look and help them in the long term. Because in the short term, it's different. I mean, we can do anything and like not care of what is going on after a few days. But I think most importantly, we also need to care about the health and condition of the natural nails and also how they're going to last. Finally, I seal it with a top coat and I'm so glad with the transformation that we just did and my model was 100% satisfied and happy and she liked the shape a lot. What do you guys think? If you enjoyed the video, please do not forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe because more exciting videos are coming up every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye.